Hi folks, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my shop. My name's Fred. It is January, early January 2019 in upstate New York. It's very cold. Uh, it's a great time of year for me to be in the shop and make videos. And I want to thank all my subscribers who have taken the time to stop and watch my videos and comment. I do appreciate that. Uh, and I want to welcome any any new subscribers that would like to uh, join us. If you have questions, if you're a new new to the hobby, uh, and you have questions, be more than happy to answer them. Uh, projects for this year include a shop tour. I have a relatively small shop, but I have a lot of equipment in it. Uh, small scale equipment because I make uh, stationary steam engines, and. Uh, I am going to make a shop video. It should be a very short one because it's a relatively small shop, like I say. Some of the projects I'm currently working are uh, on are this one here, which is a circa 1880s uh, Goodell and Pratt Company uh, lathe. It was originally treadle driven, uh, had belt pulleys, uh, and has been modified some sometime in the distant past with an electric motor. I got that donated to me and I've restored it and I'm gonna make a video on that. And then right there is a late 1800s, early 1900s steam engine. Steam boiler with a, with a steam engine on it and I've been working on restoring that and I've actually steamed it once and so it's pretty exciting and I'll be making a video on that. But the subject of today's video is is prompted by uh, a couple of videos that Mr. Pete 222 made recently about uh, uh, DROs and and measuring for distance between holes, etc. And it prompted me to share with you uh, something I built for my lathe lathe about six months ago, and it seems to be working out quite well. So I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, it's a, a DRO slash ARO analog readout based on very simple uh, pieces of readily available equipment and uh, it works quite well so I thought I'd share it with you. So let me take a break here, set you up over near the lathe and we'll get started. Hi folks, we're over at the Atlas 10 inch lathe. If uh, you are a returning subscriber. You've seen this lathe in other videos. I've done quite a few modifications to it. This one is the I call an analog readout and it's nothing more than a pair of two inch Shars dial indicators with brackets, one attached to the bed, one attached to the uh, the cross slide and it gives me the ability to within a four inch diameter or two inch radius on the X axis and a two inch travel on the Z axis to take very fine cuts and move within that envelope, that range. Uh, they're nothing more than brackets. They're attached to the bed and to the cross slide. Like I say, uh, th there are rods. There's a, a knurled nut on each one that allows me to move these rods and uh, if I need to reposition them. They're about a foot and a half long on the on the z-axis so if I need to slide it to the other end of the bed to do a bearing a bearing journal on a shaft or something like that I can do that. It's extremely accurate since it negates any wear in the uh, in the screws and there is some wear in this lathe. So each lathe uh, manufacturer has a different style of bed and a different casting for the cross slide. So it will vary depending on the lathe, ma lathe manufacturer as to w how you make the brackets, but you get the idea, okay? Um, like I say, I've had it on for six months. I've, in I've gotten a lot of use out of it. It's really sped up my, my part making and not only sped it up, but the accuracy is is uh, there. So it's this is a quick one. Um, give you some ideas of uh, maybe for a weekend project. Like I say, bought two shars indicators and scrap from the 
from the uh, stock I had and just threw it together. So that's it for today. I hope you found it useful. If you like this sort of thing, this kind of content, check out my other machining videos. If you have questions or ideas for other videos, leave me a message or a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good day.